as mentioned in the last video, it's time to replace this um, front plate on the RCE 4 drive uh, V8 with the RCE 4 drive uh, pulley kit. I'm not sure if that's going to focus, so eh? there you go. That there is it's, uh, the pulley kit. So <coughs> the reason I'm doing this, I'll put it onto this engine, um, it'll stick out further. So I've got to make sure I've got the distance I need out the front of the engine for the pulley kit and then a radiator. And then I will know where to cut this chassis uh, rail. So if the um, engine mounts are here, how far forward I've got to slice the rail. So I don't want to cut it too short. So uh, what I'll do is mount this and um, then we can uh, remount the engine back into the chassis and then we can get into the metal work in the workshop. So, uh, let's get on with getting on. Sunday rain, my parade, washed away. Okay, so now it's um, it's got the pulley setter on the front there. It's quite nice. It's, um, finger tight and all that sort of thing, not super tight. So yeah, that, that looks pretty good actually. So next will be to um, oh the camera might have been shaking a bit when I was filming this. Um, this table is a bit wriggly, and also we had a wee earthquake while I was doing that. Just a wee tremor. So anyway, uh, next is mounting this back into the chassis and then we'll eyeball it a bit and think about cutting the, the front of the chassis off here. So we'll get to that. Uh, what I'm going to do with that is um, there's going to be a radiator shroud in front of this engine block and inside the radiator shroud is where I'm going to house the speaker for the sound unit. So um, I've got to make sure I leave enough room in the front 
for that stuff as well and then f cut the front of the chassis to mount the uh, suicide axles. Uh, one thing I will tell you though, um, whilst building this, all these tiny little bolts here, the hardware, they for the most part, I think except for one of them, they're all uh, M1.6 or nearabouts. They're bloody tiny and the fiddly is all hell. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, perseverance and you'll get there if you um, get one of these kits. But yeah, if you got big fingers and you're hand fisted, it's going to be a pain. Maybe tweezer job or something. Anyway, on to it. Okay, so it's the next day now and um, uh, what I did yesterday after I, I did some filming, I went to my friend's place with the lathe and did some lathe jobs that I needed to get done that I was um, wanting to do before I got crook there. So um, what I did was <coughs> took these uh, uh, keychains, the little disc brake keychains here, and um, took off the the keychain part and I drilled the centre hole out to 10mm on the lathe so it's centred and they, um, let's change this lighting a bit here, yeah. they uh, will fit inside there like that. This, this enables me to put them into the um, Kyosho buggy rims. So what I'm going to do now, and I'll sit in there nicely, and that allows this to still move, and I'll mount that somehow to the steering knuckle. So next will be to, um, I'll take these back off these calipers, and put a dollar um, Loctite on them, put them back on, and then I will use our good friend here, Mr. JB Weld, and I will JB weld these um, disc brakes onto the insides of these rims, and they are pretty much going to be ready to put on here. I haven't set up the little pin on the steering knuckles yet, that'll keep these um, calipers stationary. Uh, I've yet to do that. I'm thinking um, I'll just use a bit of wire, um, a push bike spoke or something. It'll allow it to move a little bit and flex. Uh, either it'll work or it won't. And if it doesn't work, we can just take these calipers off again. So that's what I'm going to do now. I probably won't film it, but um, once I've done that, I might head out to the workshop. And um, we'll look at where we're going to cut that chassis. Get a little bit of uh, workshop stuff in this video. Not a great deal. I doubt I'm actually going to get to mounting this uh, axle on this video because once I've cut the, the chassis rail to length and put the beam across it I'll need to um, fabricate a bracket for this that, uh, that'll go onto the, the main chassis so that might be another video so yeah I'm going to glue these up you don't need to see that I doubt it's very exciting at all so next I'll be sussing out where I'm cutting this got my little cardboard profile in here, but I thought we'd plug into that. I, thought, I can't remember if I show you these things. Uh, let's see if we can get that up there. Nice bottle. I'll take it out. I got this. Um, God damn it. Okay, there he is. Focus. So it's got sweet tap thing on there. It's just a keychain again, uh, actually, and also it opens up so you can hide your stash in there when you're out on the trails, man. Anyway, and the RC versions don't do that, I don't think. This is about, it's about the right size. It'll, it'll go into this car, I think. It's a good size for it. Um, AliExpress again. These things are as cheap as chips, man. These keychains. Yeah, I really suggest um, if you're doing accessories and that, it doesn't matter if it's budjo stuff. So you don't need to go to the RC stores and get branded stuff for just accessorizing it. It's um, you're paying. I don't know for branding and shipping when you can get them a lot cheaper directly from China via AliExpress online shopping, and no shipping. 
So I'm mad on keychains at the moment. I'm finding all sorts of accessories, uh, turbos uh, for the engine and all sorts. And these are a good size. And when you do go to the um, RC stores, I've noticed, and buy accessories, one-tenth scale, uh, they have a pretty loose interpretation of one-tenth scale. For example, one-tenth scale jack. This is an RC four drive one. This is, I think, Intergy. So it's a bit, it's a cheaper and it doesn't actually run, work, you've got to manually move it up and down. But, it's about the right scale, 110. Yep, you can live with that, no worries. In the exact same order, from an RC web store, I got a 110 scale ladder to go into a workshop. Look at this. 110 ladder, next to a 110 jack. So, yeah, one tenth scale of my ass. Yeah, you go, I don't know what's, I think they just get shit that they have for like the dolls and um, other toys and just repackage them and call them one tenth scale accessories. Because there's no way it's one ten, man. That's what you pay for, so it's nonsense. And that's why I'm quite happy to use non RC stuff like keychains and that. I've used quite a lot of keychains um, in these rat rod builds. Anyway, rant over. Originally, uh, when I did the parts, I said I was using this speaker here. This is a 20 watt speaker um, to go in the front, but it needs a, a housing to get any decent volume out of it. So um, I'm now using this little speaker. This is 5 watts and it has a better sound than this one. I'd, if I put this in a box, this one here, it would be the shizners, but I don't have the space on this build so I'm not using it. This one here, again, I got it from AliExpress. About, I think this was 7 bucks, man. $7 for the speaker, it came with two, so it was $14. Free shipping, the usual business. So this will go inside the um, uh, radiator shroud. Actually, the speaker will probably face that way. But this now tells me how where that's going to go, and I've got to cut my chassis in front of this to run my bar across the front in front of the radiator shroud, and then I can put my suicide axle in front of that. So um, this one won't have a fan on at this motor. I'm thinking it won't anyway at this stage. Maybe I'll put one on. It'll be tight if I do. So, where I had my original black mark, I got these are marked already. Where I was going to cut it, that's going to be cutting it real fine. So I think if I bump it out another 10 mil out the front here, and put my bar across, I think that's probably the place to cut it. So, yeah, this is why I wanted to get this... Um, little pulley set in so I could see exactly how far forward I would have to put, mount the speaker and the radiator shroud. So now we've got that guesstimated. I'm going to remark this um, chassis and um, I think then we'll get out into the workshop at last and we'll cut some shit out and weld some shit out. <laughs>
Okay, so I've got the uh, front of the chassis welded up now, two length and welded. Uh, pulley set on. Got a few little braces back here to help keep it square. Next part will be to um, put the bracket on the front here that comes out and holds that leaf spring on, that uh, axle, suicide axle. Uh, what I'll do is probably stop this video here and do that next week because um, those disc brakes are still, the, the um, JB Weld's still drying on that and I want that to be all sorted so I can put the wheels back on that and set, get my ideas of heights and all that sort of thing and work from there. And I've still got to put linkages from the suicide axle back to here somewhere drill some holes and mounting points so uh, yeah that'll be probably be in the next video so we'll stop that there and uh, yeah cheers for watching support the um, charity build if you can make a donation to the cancer society and all those sorts of exciting things otherwise I'll see you on the next one see you guys